the next American president, and I could not be more different. But American democracy is bigger than any one person. All transitions go through choppy waters. I actually would just say it's false to say it's not going well. Jared's obviously been a very important part of this campaign. He has great instincts. The minute you pick somebody, you have to shrink the possibilities. I made my views clear. The fact that I thought many people were afraid. It is a bipartisan swap. Donald Trump saying, you know, if you're a lobbyist, uh, we may not have you on this transition team. Stay engaged. We need you. America needs you. That's how we get through this. This is New Day with Chris Cuomo and Allison Camarado. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your New Day. Chris is off this morning. John Berman joins me here. Great to have you. Good to be here. So they promised to drain the swamp in Washington, and now the Trump team says they are starting to do it. Anyone who has worked as a lobbyist before must show a, quote, termination of lobbying form while being vetted for a cabinet post. And if you leave the government job, there will be now a five-year lobbying ban. This as we are learning some new information about who may be on the short list for cabinet posts, including some surprising names being considered. Let's go for, first to CNN's Sunland Surfati live at Trump Tower here in New York. Good morning, Sunland. Good morning to you, John. The Trump team really trying to rein in and reclaim the narrative around their transition right now. Not only the reports of the infighting, but the reports that their uh, transition team was stacked with D.C. insiders and lobbyists. Uh, now making this big announcement today, uh, this ban on lobbyists, which would apply to not only their transition team, but uh, to those being vetted for a potential Trump administration. Really trying here to return to one of the core elements that ignited his campaign, this promise that he would clean up Washington. President-elect Donald Trump's transition team now moving to uphold this campaign promise. We are going to drain the swamp. Unveiling a new lobbying ban, requiring anyone under consideration for a job in the Trump administration to sign a written pledge to terminate their lobbying. And when they leave office, they will be banned from being a lobbyist for five years. When we talk about draining the swamp, this is one of the first steps. But as they make headway on some aspects of the transition, other parts are still slow moving. Trump's team has not yet contacted the Pentagon, State Department, or other federal agencies to inform them about the transition, with major Washington agencies saying they're still left in the dark. But Trump's team says they're moving forward on this today, writing to announce their so-called landing teams made up of transition staff that will deploy and interact with the Department of Justice, State Defense and National Security with other agencies to follow. I think we've made tremendous progress in, in giving uh, the president-elect some ideas about how to move forward with his core team and, and potential members of his cabinet. Today in Trump Tower, a flurry of meetings lined up for the president-elect, including South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, a former Trump detractor. That's not who we want as president. Now under consideration for Secretary of State. Meantime, new reports suggest that Jared Kushner, Ivanka Trump's husband, could likely end up with top national security clearance and become a key advisor to Trump. Trump's team rejecting concerns over nepotism and a potential conflict of interest. Jared's obviously been a very important part of uh, of this campaign and and he's someone that the president-elect trusts very much but what that role is like anyone else is going to be up to the president-elect the transition team continuing to dispute reports of internal disarray and infighting it's false to say it's not going well this is the head of the transition vice president-elect mike pence sat down with joe biden wednesday biden promising his successor that he'll be available 24 7 for advice no administration is ready on day one we weren't ready on day one but i'm confident on day one everything will be in good hands and later today, Donald Trump will be meeting with Japanese Prime Minister Abe here at Trump Tower. And this is notable because this is his very first face-to-face, in-person meeting with a world leader since becoming the president-elect. Allison?